Oh boy. When I was a kid, I just loved hip hop. I would just take other rappers' beats and loop them on, on a cassette tape, and make raps. Just little old me. So when all these millions of people are listening to me, it was crazy to watch this whole thing. Like, people are tripping because I said that. It made me realize, like, hip hop is having this effect on me, but it's having this effect on millions of other people, too. As a kid, you'd see MTV raps and you'd see somebody like Ice Cube saying that, you know, this is, we're just basically reporting to you what's happening on the streets where we live. A lot of the same shit was going on in neighborhoods that I lived in. The times we were living in at that moment, the way that he had divided the country and some of the things that was coming out of his mouth, I don't know. It was getting me angry. You need to be aware of your platform. Sometimes you might need to take a stand and say certain things. I felt like I want to take this opportunity to let people who don't know what I'm about understand. This is why I'm saying this. This is what I feel like I need to say right now. I wanted to make it so that there was no doubt. If it's going to divide my fan base, then it's so be it. You may divide some people, but you're also going to bring a lot more people together. Maybe I could take this opportunity and this platform I had to be somebody that could inspire change. Our rap has brought so many people together, so many different nationalities, so many from all backgrounds, and I don't know if that happens without hip hop. And Chuck was like, Elvis was a hero the most, but he never meant shit to me. Racist, the sucker was simple and plain. I was like, he was? Like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because that's why I'm getting my education. I know rappers will always get attacked by politicians, though. So a lot of it was just to push buttons regardless. And for you to take a lot of these lyrics seriously is like, you're a fucking idiot. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. As you heard, Eminem gives a new interview, and which is featured in Chuck D's new documentary called Fight the Power, How Hip Hop Changed the World, which will be dropping this month of January 2023 and you know he also touches on that time he went at Donald Trump and his BET cipher and you know uh I, I think a lot of people was glad he did it they appreciated him for doing it because you know as they always say when he uh why a white person to combat you know white privilege and all that you know what I'm saying like it doesn't hit as hard if a black artist does it but since M's doing it and he's white it helps out, you know, more. But let's get down to the meat and potatoes, man. That was one of the worst Eminem freestyles I've ever heard. Like, I'm a big Eminem fan. Like, you know, like Marshall Matters, Matters LP, like back in 99 when he first dropped Slim Shady and all that. I was a big fan. I was getting killed for that, for, you know, him being white back then. It wasn't cool to like the white boy. But anyway... Yeah, that was definitely one of the worst freestyles. If I recall, he said something like, Donald Trump, racism. That's what he's fantastic for. That's how he gets his rocks off. And he's orange. And I was just thinking like, yo, that wasn't like a good diss. Like, dude's had way better disses throughout his career, but I don't know, man. That BT hip hop freestyle cipher is just awful. When you get a chance, type it in YouTube. Like, M had a lot of lines for Trump, and I, you know, I just wasn't feeling it. It just wasn't it. it has nothing to do with, you know, my political beliefs. It's just like, ugh. I mean, you know, if you're, I guess, you know, it was necessary, but, you know, I didn't necessarily think it was his best display of lyrical abilities. Uh, I tend to prefer his earlier work anyway, but, you know, I do appreciate new work. But, you know, as far as the freestyles and politics and... Now, I did like when he dropped Mosh back, back in the day when, you know what I'm saying, he was going that bush, but it was a little too late, you know, when he did drop it during the election or whatever. But anyway, I think that's enough for me. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.